everyone and welcome to a new episode and this is right after the live stream ID I'm not sure am I gonna record this but eh, I have like 4 hours so let's do a call and we are gonna continue with a particular story this is actually something that now I notice so this is actually right after we prepare to go to the festival and I'm curious how they are gonna come up with this excuse Did you hear about our next stop? It's a world called Penaconi. I hear it's a beautiful, dreamy place. I'm so excited. But Pom Pom said the banquet we were invited to is still a little ways off. Hmm, what can I do to pass the time? Are you kidding me? A little wait. So. We went under any pressure so we can just chill out until really that could be nice to know in the first place. Huh? Is that my phone? Must be the group chat. Oh hello. Oh boy, long text. Hmm. We invite to another kind of festival. Man, Bernie is so old, Scott. This is actually the Discord call. We have that old one, the new one that used that language, and so. Ah, oh, that Don Hung. He can't just ignore Branya. Let's go to his room and talk to him. Don Hung, Branya just sent all of us a message. Did you see it yet? Yes, I saw it. Then why didn't you reply? Branya's a good friend of ours. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just not in the mood for idle chat. There's been a lot weighing on my mind since the Lo Fu. It was uh, tough on the spirit. Uh, Don Hung. I'm the one who should be sorry. I was being too pushy. You're right. You went through a lot on the Sienjo. Take all the time you need. Thank you for understanding. It's great that Bellabog is able to host the celebration. I hope your trip goes well. Say hi to our friends for me. Okay. Rest up. You're not allowed to miss the next Trailblaze expedition. <sighs> I'll be there next time. Uh, he won't budge, huh? Looks like it's just the two of us, then. Ah, huh, pity. He's gonna miss out. We never get the chance to go on a stress-free adventure. So, we can just go wherever... That, that's happening. 
we're supposed to go with the tent, not the tent going wherever we feel like. I know, but it's still a shame, don't you think? Ah, uh, if only Himeko could come with us. Mm, maybe not. He's still wheezing from the trouble we got into on the Sienjo. You didn't notice? At his age, he might not appreciate the extra... Mm, excitement. Why don't we go ask Himeko to tag along? She might be up for an adventure. You've been on the Express for a while now, but you've never gone on a trip with Himeko before, right? Well, now's your chance. Oh, but he's gonna be fine. Hey, March. That's a big smile on your face. What's the good news? Uh, Himeko, there's a celebration coming up on Urillo 6, organized by the Supreme Guardian, and we're invited to go take in the sights and sounds. Don Hung won't be going anywhere for a while. He's still resting up, so want to come with us? I mean, considering how you helped us out with Kakolia, I'm sure Branya would be happy to see you. <laughs> ah, so that explains the grin. You're excited about the celebration. Thanks for the invite, but I'm afraid my hands are full right now. Please uh -huh. send my regards to the Supreme Guardian. Make the so most close. of the festivities. You've earned it. You two and Don Hung did help save Urillo 6 after all. I'll be sure to join you guys next time. Ah, well, navigators really do have their plates full, huh? Seems like it's just you and me this time. Let me go pack some stuff for the trip first. Come and find me when you're ready to set off. Huh? So, what do you think about my new dress? <laughs> Pretty neat, right? Wait, 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 how in the world did I not see this in the morning? This is a skin? to try it on this kind of event doesn't come around every day why shouldn't i dress for the occasion you're not really gonna wear that same old outfit are you oh come on i really wish to actually change my outfit at least based on my path that i go please a little customization for your boss just a little but hey what i can do blame the developers not me I'm actually surprised they keep I they keep this as a surprise like yes What was that song? Uh, let's just pretend I never said anything. As long as one of us is making an effort. Pajamas, hot water bottle, pom pom doll. That should be everything. Let's go. You take a doll with wow, you? That was fast. Don't you have anything you want to bring with you? <laughs> Don't worry, but this game just really know how to uh, speed up the wit. And I just want to see each of these reactions. Maybe. Hmm. can't leave the express bringing a doll with us is kind of like taking them trailblazing i was just taking a look at mr yang's records and it seems like urillo 6's average temperature has warmed up quite a bit it's much warmer than it was on our first trip there i wouldn't call it livable just yet but things are looking up i'm so happy for branya and zila seven is shipping this stuff What? All right, Slowpoke. Sorry. Ready to go? Oh, I could. I wish I could ask her for the other one. 
Okay, I gonna see you online. <laughs> Bellabog, here we come. Do we actually go to Palma and tell him, hey, can you dump us on this place and pick up Selector? Because I may accuse how the organization. Oh, hello, Captain. Seven hundred years. <laughs> it's never too late to pick up the tab. Oh, fur! How do people living in all this snow celebrate anything? Oh, one thing's for sure, though. Where there's a celebration, there's bound to be food, right? Oh, come on, Bellaba. Oh, come on. Hey, blame this on you. I'm... Okay. Lance ablaze. Lance forward! <laughs> That'll take him. <laughs> huh. My touch for a fun. <laughs> no. Do not concern yourself with the outcome. Oh, wait a sec. That person over there. That doesn't look like a Silvermane Guard uniform. All in black. Surely they're not IPC on this world? Am I going crazy? The Interastral Peace Corporation. Who else? The one whose insignia is pretty much everywhere? That IPC. You still don't remember? Oh, what about Findy? That's one of their products. Oh, and the Interastral Peace Broadcast. You know the one always being played on the Express? Yeah, I kinda wish to turn that off. Oh, never mind, it's not that important. The important question is, what are the IPC doing on your Rillo 6? To collect the taxes. Mm, there's only one way to find out. Let's go ask. I've always found IPC staff easy to talk to. Hi. Do you work for the Interastral Peace Corporation? Or are you just dressing fancy today? Uh... Boss, encounter with two unknowns. Want me to take them out? Over. Uh, take us out? Take them out? <sighs> Just hang tight for a second. I'm on my way. Don't do anything stupid. Phew, we dodged a bullet. <sighs> Glad to make your acquaintance. I'm Topaz, an investment expert from the Interastral Peace Corporation. I'm here on Eurilla 6 for a special business assignment. You'll have to forgive my colleague here. People scales aren't his strong suit. Please don't take it to heart. Out of me. We're here for the celebrations. We're not looking for more conflicts. Oh, right. We should probably introduce ourselves. I'm March 7th, a passenger of the Astral Express. You may have heard of it? And this is my friend and fellow passenger. <laughs> no kidding. I could tell you weren't locals from a mile away, but I didn't expect to run into two nameless here. Fate is such a curious thing. I heard that Eurillo 6 only stepped out of the Stellaron's shadow thanks to the direct intervention of the Trailblazers. But surely you two aren't. Yep. Huh? Jeez, can you be a little more humble? <laughs> I never imagined I'd run into living legends here. Must be your lucky day, huh, Numbi? Can we keep it? Wow, Miss Topaz, 
You're really young for an IPC executive. That's impressive. <sighs> More good luck, I suppose. But it's not as cushy as you think. Scurrying from one side of the galaxy to the other. Going wherever businesses require me to be. Huh. Your job sounds pretty similar to the express crews. Aside from the business, I guess. Oh, Branya moves fast. The crisis is only just over and she's already opened talks with the IPC. <laughs> These talks aren't exactly what you might expect. But I have to agree. The Supreme Guardian definitely knows how to govern a city. And that's the reason I'm here on Urillo 6. To meet with her. I... Miss Marge, you said you were on your way to Bellafog festivities, right? My apologies for delaying you both. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It's not like we're in a rush. Wanna come to the city with us? The snow plains are freezing, and it's easier than you think to get lost out here. Thank She's you the one in a dish. But I'll manage. It's my first time on this world. I'd like to take it in its vast, iconic snowscape for just a little longer. Who knows? Maybe we'll cross paths again during the celebrations. Oh, uh, here's my contact information. I don't usually respond during work hours, but I'd be happy to chat off the clock. Wow, I actually managed to get an IPC executive's phone number without even trying. Eight billion. What are you talking? Although you can kind of see that I put a lot of credits into Kafka, Earl, and Luto. Who to pick? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you two make a cute pair. Uh, anyway, I'd better be on my way. See you next time. The universe is huge, yet we somehow stumbled onto the same path. Fate truly works in mysterious ways, don't you think? Come on, let's head into the city. Wow, there are people everywhere. Are you sure we're in Bellabog? And now to check out the main event, the food! Come on, keep up! Hang on a sec, isn't that Wallace up ahead? Looks like he's finally made some friends. I wonder what they're talking about. Oh, and you... Norbert, uh, why don't you tell everyone how you were released from jail so quickly? Huh? Selling cultural relics and impersonating Silvermane guards are both heinous crime. They, they really mentioned it. Well, it was all thanks to my uncle, you know. Ah, I remember. Your uncle is Minister Knoll. He heads up the Department of Transportation, no? <coughs> Uh, yes, you, you knew that too. <laughs> You're shameless, Norbert. Not to be rude, but if I were thrown in jail, I wouldn't possibly ask my father to bail me out. Do you think I wanted to? I'm not the type of person to abuse my status. Well, I don't really know about that. <sighs> Get off my back, will you? I had to deal with hardened criminals in jail. Now that I'm free, my supposed friends are ganging up on me. Two friends. Like things are getting heated. I think we better get out of here. Yep. And you wonder why I don't do his dailies. Introducing the history of the museum. 
Everyone listen carefully, okay? Bellabog's History and Culture Museum was founded 600 years ago and was originally built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa. Mm, so hungry. I wish I could have a red sunset salmon right now. <clears throat> it was built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa Rand and also... <gasps> Guess what? I heard there's gonna be a Silver Mane Adventure Camp opening in the overworld soon. It's gonna be super awesome. <laughs> also, those who sacrificed their lives in the war against the invaders 700 years ago. Miss Payla, Peter is falling asleep. <laughs> Enough. From now on, no whispering aloud. If you don't want to have any homework later, you'd better start listening. Sorry, Miss Payla. <sighs> That's better. Uh, <clears throat> now, where was I? Well, I never knew Pela had a strict side. Yeah, although I had the aspect of her that her timeline doesn't add up. Like, somehow at the age of four, she was in silver, what is called, rock band. Yeah. I think I know why they don't reveal the age of these characters. Hey, quick! Sir Ball's about to start singing! Please get your autograph! Woo! Thanks, everyone! Hope you're ready for a great show! Let's get started! Sir Ball! Sir Ball! Heartbeats will shake me. So rules can't break me. Crank the sound and let your soul be free. The lightning strikes right on the wall. Let yourself fall into it all. Ow, my ears. Was that supposed to be like that? Oh, come on. Just taking a stroll could be so tiring. Say, I think we should probably pay Branya a visit. After all, she was the one who invited us here. Or we could go check out some other fun stuff elsewhere. <laughs> Your call. I understand the difficulties that this world is facing, Supreme Guardian. Bellabog's current financial burden cannot be pinned on you, nor anyone else for that matter. However, objectively speaking, since Bellabog has existed as an independent entity to this day, its debt cannot simply be written off. Yeah, buddy. Oh, it looks like we have some visitors. Branya! And Topaz? You're here too? I guess you've already started your business talks. We'll get out of your way if... It's no bother. We've pretty much wrapped things up already anyway. <sighs> Please consider my plans carefully, Supreme Guardian. If Eurela 6 wants to rebuild its connections with the rest of the galaxy, your credit record with the IPC will be of great importance. You've made yourself clear, Miss Topaz. I'll require some time to consider my next course of action. Naturally. However, while you're deliberating, my colleagues will need to carry out some operations in Bellabog. I hope that your subjects in the underworld are... cooperative. I'm sorry our business got in the way of a reunion with old friends. I'll get out of your way. Is everything all right, Branya? I didn't know Miss Topaz was so intense. She seemed nice when we met her. 
It's good to see you two again. Welcome back to Bellabog. I planned a special reception, but I had to deal with an unexpected guest. The lady you just witnessed? She claims to represent the IPC. There's no need to keep either of you in the dark. To tell the truth, I have too much weighing on my mind right now to even think about the Psalmworm Festival. Hmm. Since you've already made her acquaintance, I needn't explain who she is. I'm sure you've heard pieces of Bellabog's history the first time you visited. The Legion's invasion 700 years ago, how the Stellaron brought about the Eternal Freeze. It seems that much of Bellabog's history from that time was buried deep beneath the snow. Those memories were lost and weren't passed down to the subsequent generations of Supreme Guardians. Topaz shared with me the story of the Stellaron's descent upon Yarillo 6. How the original outsiders stationed here foresaw the impending disaster and chose to leave in large numbers. How cause Beijing is gonna leave the first danger? Among those outsiders were several investors from the Interastral Peace Corporation. Before they departed, they did something noteworthy. They sought out architects who refused to leave, those who insisted on defending their homes. The IPC provided these architects with significant funds to aid them against the coming disaster. It was with those funds that Bellabog was able to construct its immense walls. Even the initial funding for the development of the first batch of automatons was drawn from the same pool. Wow, that's a pretty incredible story. So, does that mean Topaz's business here is to collect a debt from Bellabog? Yes, I'm afraid so. That's ridiculous! And what's with the timing? What took them so long to get here? If it wasn't for us eliminating the Stellaron, they'd have nothing to collect. It's obvious they're just trying to take advantage. According to her account, the repayment period agreed upon by the architects and the IPC investors was 280 years. However, less than a century after the loan was taken out, the connection between Yarillo 6 and the rest of the galaxy was completely severed. The IPC deemed that the disaster had caused irreparable damage and that there was no civilization left to reclaim the debt from. As such, they considered the owed sum permanently lost. Imagine one day aliens finally coming to Earth and just uh, wanted their death back. Can you imagine that? It wasn't until the Stellaron crisis was resolved that the IPC discovered that Bellabog had survived. And that's when they sent Topaz over to collect the debt. And the interest. The debt owed is an astronomical amount. I don't even know how to read such a long string of numbers. Before you both arrived, Topaz warned me that if the payments were delayed, the IPC would give her the authority to employ strong measures. Oh, I had no idea things were like this. Here I was thinking the IPC had come to rebuild Bellabog, not extort it. Yeah, we're gonna fight the taxes. We have a revolution. Yeah, we have to help Franya out. The IPC is too big and powerful. The Bellabogians won't be able to resolve this problem on their own. You seem to have a deeper knowledge of the Interastral Peace Corporation than I do. But if the records are accurate, and they truly have a presence throughout the galaxy, the IPC could crush Bellabog like a bug if they wanted to. I'm glad you're both here. I know you came for the festival, but now... It's never easy. Now, I must ask you and the Astral Express for help. Do you think you could persuade Topaz to reevaluate the situation? The Express's reputation precedes it. Perhaps there's still hope? Have no fear, Branya. When a friend's in need, the Nameless will always be at their side. 
What the guns? Uh, I don't think we're at that stage yet. Miss Topaz seems like a reasonable person. With your silver tongue, I'm sure we'll make some progress. <laughs> Thank Good you joke, so much, Shiba. both of you. I'm so sorry for dragging you into more trouble. While you're out looking for Topaz, I'll see if I can think of a strategy to deal with the situation. Best of luck, and stay safe. <laughs>